Hi everyone, I'm Shu Xinzhong from Machine Learning Group, Microsoft Research Asia. Today I'm on behalf of the machine learning team participating in the Open Catalyst Challenge on Europe's 2021 to present our winner's method, the Graphomer, which is a general purpose backbone for molecular modeling. Our teammates are Guolin Ke, Di He, Tianyan Liu, and three interns, Cheng Xuanyong, Jia Chengyu, and Yi Han He, from Dalian University of Technology, Tsinghua University, and CMU, respectively. In today's talk, I'd like to first quickly go through the challenge, then introduce our method Graphomer, and finally show the experiment results. The Open Catalyst Challenge is from Europe's 2021 computation track. It is derived from Open Catalyst Project, which is a collaborative research effort by Facebook AI Research and CMU. It aims to use AI to model and discover new catalysts to address the energy challenges posed by the climate change. If we could find a kind of catalyst which can drive the chemical reaction of conversion of renewable energy to other fuels, such as hydrogen, then it offers the potential of scaling to nation-sized uh, grids for renewable energy storage to address the global warming issue. To find the low-cost uh, catalyst to drive these reactions at high rates, huge uh, number of dynamic simulations are required. Uh, However, the quantum mechanics uh, simulation, uh, for example, density functional theory, is extremely time-consuming and costly. Therefore, it would be great if we could find the cost-effective solution for chemical reaction simulation by using AI model. For this purpose, Open Catalyst Challenge provides 0.66 million molecular relaxation systems by DFT simulations to develop a good a AI method to better model the catalyst. The system contains a catalyst and a, a, a sorbet. A different 3D structure of a sorbet maps to different energy, and the structure is changing towards the uh, towards lower energy structure. This changing process is called relaxation. Uh, and at the end, the energy of the adsorbate is low and the structure is stable. For each system, the initial structure is provided, and the goal is to predict the final relaxed uh, energy. There are two tracks. The first one is a direct track, which requires the model takes the initial structure and directly predicts the final energy, and no additional training data could be used. The other one is relaxed track, uh, which predicts the relaxation trajectory step, step by step, and the inner trajectory data could be used for the training. Considering that uh, direct final energy prediction is more efficient and more challenging, we participate the uh, direct track. Typically, uh, graph neural network are used to capture the uh, geometric and physical knowledge in AI-based uh, molecular simulation. However, the expressive power of graph neural network is limited. It could be proven that the expressive power of GNN is bounded by first-order WL test, which means that it cannot distinguish some important uh, substructures. Also, a deeper GNN does not equal to more expressive power. Deep GNN suffers from the oversmoothing, which means that it cannot benefit from being deeper, wider, and larger, although this is the trend of today's deep learning models, like a transformer. Therefore, in this computation, we choose to use Graphomer model, which is a general purpose backbone for molecular modeling, and published by our team on Neurops 2021. Graphomer is built upon a standard transformer model and equipped with three simple yet effective structure encodings. The first one is spatial encoding. Uh, the first one is spatial positional encoding. It's used to model the topological relationship between items, such as the shortest path, uh, uh, length, shortest path length between the different nodes in the molecular graph. The centrality uh, encoding is used to measure the importance of an item in the molecular graph, 
and the third one is the edge encoding, which is aimed to, uh, which aims to model the edge information in the molecular graph, such as the chemical bonds. Graphomer is designed for both the strong expressive power and also the capability of capri uh, uh, capri uh, capturing structural information in graph. In the paper, we prove that the conventional graph neural networks are special cases of graphomer with reduced expressiveness, which means that the graphomer should be strictly more powerful than conventional graph neural network models. Actually, graphomer is not only theoretically sound, but also achieving outstanding uh, experiment results on many benchmark data sites for molecular simulation and graph learning. For example, it was the first place of KDD Cup 2021 quantum chemistry track. And the graphomer is a very general model, which could be used for both 2D and 3D molecular graph modeling. The differences of 3D molecular modeling with 2D is that there is no chemical bonds, but only the uh, position of each item uh, and the distance between items. All the properties of a molecular depend on the distance between items. Therefore, considering that there is no explicit uh, chemical bonds to connect items, to model the 3D molecules with graphomer, we choose to use fully connected graph, which can be easily proce uh, processed by the self-attention layers in graphomer. Besides, there is no more uh, there is no more edge encoding, and we choose the Euclidean distance encoding as the spatial encoding, and the sum of the distance encoding over edge on edge uh, on each node as its uh, centrality uh, centrality encoding. First, uh, we leverage the Gaussian basis functions used in spin count to encode the distance. And second, for each node, uh, we sum all the uh, distance encoding over its edge as its centrality encoding. For open catalyst challenge, there are two more additional modifications. The first one is that the boundary condition of catalyst is uh, periodic. Uh, therefore, we first repeat the uh, unit, uh, unit cell along with the xy uh, axis, and then cut off the item by the distance of 9. The second spe specific modification is that we can use multitask learning to improve the performance of graphomer. Except for the energy prediction, we can also predict the delta position between the initial position and the final position uh, for each item. Therefore, we set up an accelerate uh, equivalent uh, 3D cross attention height to predict this task. After calculation of the softmax attention uh, probability, it will be projected to the three directions and then calculate the weighted sum of V along with three axes respectively. This is the overall architecture of graphomer for uh, 3D molecular modeling. The spatial encoding and the centrality encoding will be derived from the distance encoding, and the relaxed energy is predicted from the virtual node token. And other uh, item token are processed uh, by the 3D uh, cross attention to predict the delta position between initial and final structures. The training details are listed here. We use 48 layer graphomer and the parameter is shared uh, every 12 layers, which is inspired by AlphaFold 2. The batch size is 64 and the learning rate schedule is linear warm up and decay. The total training step is 1 million uh, and it takes about one and a half days for training on eight NVIDIA A100 GPU cards. Uh, and uh, the final results are assembled by uh, 31 models with different data position and random seed. On the public leaderboard, we obtain the best performance of the direct track, uh, and the final result will be released at uh, December 7th. Thanks very much for your watching. Please kindly contact me through the email for any problem.